Hello and welcome to day five of Modular in a Week. Today we are going to talk about envelope generators and we're going to build envelope generators. Envelope generators is a kind of like an LFO, but an LFO is constantly swinging in the uh, CV signal. Uh, the envelope generator is usually done uh, triggered with a either a trig or a gate which then produces so the envelope generator produces a curve which is usually uh, played once for each trig um, so a very common envelope generator Envelope is the ADSR, the attack, decay, release, sustain, which all correspond to the different times of the of a, of a gate or a keyboard press. So when you first press the the key on a keyboard, for example, the the press that's when the attack starts, and if it's a sweep, it the attack is very slow and if it's a stabbing sound a very fast sound then th you have a very fast attack the decay is from the top and then it goes uh, so the the decay from the initial attack to the ads sustain so the sustain roof so that's as long as you hold the key that's when you're in sustain and when you release the key you're in the release state so that's when the the pad sounds fades out or the the piano just the with the vibrato of the string in the piano uh, fades out for example in a modular unit it's different things that sound of course um, so today we're going to make a really uh, a, a little bit simpler variant of the ADSR we're skipping some of them and making an AR attack release so what that means is that when we get a trig input the attack starts and then because it's a release so until we release it so once we reach the roof of the attack uh, then we stay there until we release the button and then the slope uh, on the end begins of the release and the module we're going to build today is is built up so that you can actually loop it uh, and that makes it really like an LFO with, with where you can the attack and release is the slopes of, on, of the uh, triangle LFO so to speak so let me show you what this can do so right now we have it in loop mode so this one is induced we can pull that out and it just opens and closes the virtual VCA over here what that means that so if we take so now we have a very short attack and a long release and if we take down the release it's almost a constant sound and then we turn up the attack instead and now it's a ramp it goes up and down and if we take them both up it's kind of a triangle now if we go into gate mode instead so then we need a gate signal so here we have the simple LFO in square mode triggering this and so we here's a fast attack 
and then a release. So the point of that is that you can take the the really square, sharp uh, pulses of a trigger and gate from a keyboard, CV controller or a square LFO or a sequencer or any of those things and smooth that uh, CV signal out or, or get the gate to become a CV signal that you can then route to in this case a VCA or a filter uh, or even a VCO if you wish for that kind of effect. So this is a really nice module to have. Uh, it's a dual AR and it's also done by Niklas Rönnberg, the person who did the really awesome passive multiple. Uh, so let's take a look at his schematics and parts and let's build this one. As I said the last time we were at this page, uh, if you haven't already, you really should go and check out Niklas Rönnberg's uh, audio and synth DIY page. Look at all these cool modules that he's built and that you can build as well. Uh, so the AR envelope generator we can find here and here's his build log on this one. And if you like uh, stripboard then he has a really nice uh, layout for that. I don't like stripboard, I like veroboard, so I'm just going to freestyle it that way. Uh, so here's the AR, and this is one part of, uh, so I made a dual, so did he. Uh, and so this one uses half a TL074 here, and half one here, uh, TL072. And I think we only use a third of the 74HC14. So here's the repeat switch. And also, I forgot to mention before that we have a inverted CV out. So CV out and inverted CV out. Which is an extra bonus because you can have make really cool effects when, when you have one CV signal going positive when the other one goes negative. Also, I should mention that this one uh, needs a 5 volts. Uh, so you need to add a 5 volt regulator and, and uh, I, I do that as well. And that's because the 74HC14, so it's a Schmidt trigger uh, chip that he's using, can't handle 12 volts. Uh, so, uh, and also 5 volts to this LED and this chip which can only handle up to 7 volts I believe. So uh, adding a 5 volt regulator will be needed as well. And on the component side I'd say this is an intermediate to hard build uh, partly because we need to add another power source and it's quite a lot of components. 39 to be exact. Uh, and this is for two, so because it's a dual AR, so this is 39 components and you get two envelope generators. For a total of $16 with these really high prices that I've counted with just to be on the safe side. And it's the normal parts, six jacks, because we have inputs, CV and inverted CV out on both. Switches for the looping. Uh, switch and one meg linear pots is for the slopes of the attack and release and then the usual up amps and resistors and capacitors so let's build this one building this one i did the same mistake if we say that that i done many times during this build that I only built I was planning to build two but I only built one at a time because I wanted to make sure that half of it worked before I added the second half to conserve parts I guess uh, the downside was that once once you build if you build them both at once you 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 don't have to figure everything out every time uh, so 
it would probably have gone faster if I had only built built it in, in one go, so to say. So I'd say it take, took about three hours to build this, um, two hours to build the first part where, where I had a little problem with my 7805 power regulator. I connected that wrong a couple of times, so that took a lot of time. Uh, and the second one, I could kind of follow the the build style that I had done on the first part. So uh, that was a bit faster. So I'd say around three hours. So I've tried to turn these and it doesn't really do anything. So, but when I turned this on just a wee wee bit, I actually got it to pulse. So, that's nice. So now we should have a... Let's just steal the pin out from the LFO. Put on this one. And we have that, and Perfect. This one worked almost immediately. I only had some few problems with my 7805. Other than that, it works immediately. Not often that happens. And this is only half of it, of course. I need to do the other half as well. But now I'm afraid I will mess this one up if I do. And the panel was quite difficult to get all this in as small space as possible so this one I had to expand to 9 HP I couldn't keep my 8 HP uh, as I have in most double modules and that's because the uh, LED and the loop gate uh, switch I couldn't put them on um, on a row everything so I had to put them side by side and I hope that was I feel that was a good choice and I like how that looks on the panel and then the gate in and CV outs so quite a small module for everything we crammed into this and that's it for this episode Technically, in modular in a week, in that week that I did all these modules, I only did one envelope generator, and that was this dual one. Uh, as I said, this takes about three hours to make, so there wasn't much time after that. Um, but, as I said in the previous episode, I'm going to stretch time a bit from now on, so... I'll make one more uh, envelope generator because I really want a voltage controlled ADSR. So I found a schematics that, which I haven't built yet. So hopefully I can build that in a week. That shouldn't be a problem, should it? And edit the video and get it out. And that might be a problem. Uh, but if... I manage then you'll see that video in the next week uh, so stay tuned for that and hope you like this and that you subscribe and you press the bell button so you don't miss when I get that video out and until next time take care bye <laughs>